Its mandate will include technology development, skilled workforce, extended producer responsibility, uh, extended producer responsibility framework, and a suitable financing mechanism. Offshore mining of minerals. Our government will launch the auction of the first tranche of offshore blocks for mining, building on the exploration already carried out. Digital public infrastructure applications. Turning to the services sector, I propose development of DPI applications at population scale for productivity gains, business opportunities, and innovation by the private sector. These are planned in the areas of credit, e-commerce, education, health, law and justice, logistics, MSME service delivery, and urban governance. Integrated technology platform for IBC ecosystem. An integrated technology platform will be set up for improving the outcomes under the Insolvency Bankruptcy Code for achieving consistency, transparency, timely processing, and better oversight for all stakeholders. Voluntary closure of LLPs. The services of the Center for Processing Accelerated Corporate Exit, CPACE, will be extended for voluntary closure of LLPs to reduce the closure times. National Company Law Tribunals. The IBC has resolved more than 1,000 companies, resulting in direct recovery of 3.3 lakh crore to creditors. 3.3 lakh crore rupees to creditors. In addition, 28,000 cases involving over 10 lakh crore rupees have been disposed of even prior to admission. Appropriate changes to the IBC, reforms and strengthening of the tribunal and appellate tribunals will be initiated to speed up insolvency resolution. Additional tribunals will be established. Out of those, some will be notified to decide cases exclusively under the Companies Act. Debt recovery. Steps for reforming and strengthening debt recovery tribunals will be taken. Additional tribunals will be established to speed up recovery. Priority five, urban development. Cities as growth hubs. Working with states, our government will facilitate development of cities as growth hubs. This will be achieved through economic and transit planning and orderly development of peri-urban areas utilizing town planning schemes. Creative redevelopment of cities. For creative brownfield redevelopment of existing cities with a transformative impact, our government will formulate a framework for enabling policies market-based mechanisms, and regulation. Transit-oriented development. Transit-oriented development plans for 14 large cities with a population above 30 lakh will be formulated along with an implementation and financing strategy. Urban housing. Under the PM Avas Yojana, Urban 2.0, Housing needs of one crore urban poor and middle class families will be addressed with an investment of 10 lakh crore rupees. This will include the central assistance of 2.2 lakh crore rupees in the next five years. A provision of interest subsidy to facilitate loans at affordable rates is also envisaged. In addition, enabling policies and regulations for efficient and transparent rental housing, transparent rental housing markets with enhanced availability will also be put in place. Water supply and sanitation. In partnership with state uh, governments and multilateral development banks, we will promote water supply, sewage treatments, and solid waste management projects and services for 100 large cities 
through bankable projects. These projects will also envisage uses, use of treated water for irrigation and filling up of tanks in nearby areas. Street markets. Building on the success of PM Swanadi, PM Swanadi scheme in transforming the lives of street vendors, our government envisions a scheme to support each year over the next five years the development of 100 weekly huts or street food hubs in select cities. Stamp duty. We will encourage states which continue to charge high stamp duty to moderate the rates for all and, all, and also consider 